guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew your cow dress so your cow dress can be a top or a gown you are still going to make use of the same method to achieve your cow top or your cow dress so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your cow dress shoulder measurements bust waist and our hip don't forget to join us on facebook to the designs on instagram to the designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements our shoulder measurements is 14 14 divided by 2 we have 7 our bus is 36 36 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11 inches our waist is 30 30 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 our hip is 14 40 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 12 inches our length is 22 inches so we go ahead and add 2 inches for our sewing allowance we have 24 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your cow dress now if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop it in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe and also join us for trainings trainings are available and i'm going to put down the details in the description box below another thing you should also take note of is that there are some cow dress that you have your cow effects at the front now in that case where your cow effect falls at the front you are going to cut out your back block first while if you want your cow effect to fall at your back then you are going to cut out your front block first so you are basically cutting out the block which you don't have your cow effect first before you cut out where you have your cow effect right and it depends on you your cow could be at the back or at the front so if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section we are going to making use of these crepe fabrics and for styles like this you can use crepe silk chiffon fabrics that are actually light and that can drape easily so um fabrics such as african prints is a no for this um cow neck style okay so make sure you're using like light fabrics like lacra crepe chiffon and any other light fabric you think you can get i'm going to be drafting our back block first and this is because for the back block what we have is our regular back block and the cow effect is going to be at the front note that there are some styles also where your cow effects will be at the back so in that case you are still going to make use of the same method but rather the front block will be the regular one and the back block will be where you have your cow effect so whichever one you prefer you go ahead and do that so i'll go ahead now and take my basic measurement which is shoulder to arm o i have eight inches shoulder to arm o i have eight inches I have 8 inches, bust to waist, I have 8 inches, and my waist to hip, I have 9 inches, which is also our length, okay? So this is what we have. So once you are done now, the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our shoulder measurement. So our shoulder measurement now is 7 inches, I will go ahead and mark 7 inches. On my bust line, I will mark my bust measurement bust line will mark our bust measurement which is 11 inches on our waistline now we we'll go ahead and mark our waist measurement which is 9.5 9.5 and on our hip line we we'll mark our hip measurement which is 
12 inches so this is basically what we have we'll go ahead now and connect it together so we'll connect our waist to hip and waist to bust so we are basically going to connect this together now we'll go ahead now and connect our shoulder line to our bust line to give us our arm o curve to give us our arm o curve and this is what it looks like now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our neckline so for the wideness of my neckline i'm going to be making use of five inches we discovered that what we have on the thumbnail is a tiny neckline however if you want to have like a bolder um, strap for this you can go ahead and make use of three inches for your neckline it basically depends on what you want to have left for the shoulder so once we are done now we'll go ahead and mark the deepness of our neckline which happens to be so guys after connecting so you just go ahead now and connect the lines together you are done with that once you are done with that you go ahead and mark your half inch on your arm or to serve as your shoulder slope and then you connect the lines together so this is basically what we are going to have for the back block because our because our cow neckline or the draping is going to be in the front so if you want your drapings to be at the back this will be your front neckline i hope you understand but if you have any question please feel free to drop it in the comment section so i'll go ahead now and cut this out so guys after cutting this out after cutting it out this is what we basically have for the back block so let's go ahead now and cut out the front a cow effect so this is your fabric now you go ahead and fold your fabric in a triangular shape you go ahead and fold your fabric in a triangular shape this way you can see what we have and the reason why you are folding your fabric in a triangular shape is so that you can have that draping at the front so once you are done now you are going to take your back block you are going to take your back block and then you place it on this fabric that you folded in a triangular shape now once you place this you will discover that okay let me turn this to the front so that you guys can use it to differentiate which is the back block and what we have for the front block so you can see now that I've gone ahead now to place it this way. You will discover that I did not place it straight like this. I don't know if you guys can see it clearly, but you discover that I didn't place it straight this way. You go ahead and place it in a triangular shape this way, right? And this is because you want to achieve your draping or your cow effect at the front block. Another thing you should also take note of when you are placing your back block on your front block is how wide do you want your draping to be? How wide do you want the cow effect in the front to be? So if you want it to be really wide or really full, now you go ahead and check out what you have. So for me now, I have 3 inches on a single fold, I have 6 inches. If you feel like you really want it to fall very well, very full, you can still go ahead and adjust it this way. You can still go ahead and adjust it so that what you have will be so much. So it basically depends on what you want and how full you want it to be. That will determine the number of inches you will leave between your back block and your front block. Now, another thing you also take note of is where do you want your drapings to end? Do you want it to drape all the way to the lower part or do you just want it to drape somewhere around the bust area? Now, if you want it to drape just somewhere around your bust area and you are fine, you go ahead and place your tape, your back block this way make sure that the edge where you don't want it to drape is equal to your back block and then you basically just want it to drape from the front so this is what you have but if you want it to drape from the front down you go ahead and make sure that you have excess okay so it basically depends on you and peradventure you just want oh i just wanted to drape only at my bust area so you just go ahead and you place your fabric this way you don't really want it to drape so much you can just close up every other space except where you want it to drape so for me now i'm going to go ahead and place my own this way i just want it to drape all the way but at the lower side of my dress i just want to have little draping okay but i want to have so much draping at the front block so i'm going to allow it to drape this way just place it 
whichever way you want your drapings to fall just at the bust area or you want it to drape all the way it depends on what you want so once you are done placing this out you've placed it now you just go ahead and cut this out basically that's what you're going to have so once you once i cut this out i'm going to show you guys what it looks like so guys after cutting this out so guys after cutting this out this is basically what we have and you can see that it falls automatically you can see the draping effect you can see how it falls and then it just drapes so well so your own could be a gown you just have to like extend it to your gown length and you can have it as a top it only really depends on how you want to rock your cow um your cow effect so you can see what we have and how we drapes which is so cute guys <laughs> so now the next thing we are going to do now is very very simple you just go ahead and aim your neckline for the back for the front block and you also aim your neckline for the back block once you are done with that you go ahead and place your you go ahead and place your back block on your front block you go ahead and place your back block on your front block then you make use of your bust measurements and your back measurement your bust measurement waist measurements and your hip measurements to couple this up now when you want to take your measurements please make use of your back block where you don't have your cow effects if your cow effect is going to fall at the back then make use of your front block to take your measurement so basically you are making use of that part or that block where you have your regular block not where you have your cow effect and this is because and this is because because you have your cow effect added here automatically what you are going to have for your front block is going to be bigger than your exact measurement because number one you folded it in a triangular shape and then you left inches in front and that is the main reason why you should make use of the other parts to take your measurement so once I couple, once I measure my bust measurements, my waist measurements, and my hip measurements, I'm going to have a perfect dress. If you want to attach sleeve to yours, you can go ahead and attach sleeve. And if you want it sleeveless, just go ahead and aim your neckline. Go ahead and aim your arm O. So it's basically simple. I'll go ahead now and do that and show you guys what we have. So guys, this is what we have. So we've gone ahead now to stitch our shoulders. We've aimed the neckline, both the front neckline and the back. We've made use of our bust measurement, waist and hip to couple this up. And this is basically what we have. So you can see this cow neck effect and how it drapes. You can see how it just drapes at this front block. Let me zoom it in. So you can see the drape effect. So it's automatically just drape right because of the way you folded it so if you want yours to be sleeveless you go ahead and aim your arm o and if you want to attach sleeve to it you go ahead and attach your sleeve and if you don't want your shoulder um to be as wide as this you can go ahead and you know trim it off it totally depends on what you want so this is what our cow neck top look like so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe let me know if you have any question in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on and then i'll see you guys in my next one bye